Bangladesh is facing catastrophic floods, as is India's northeastern state of Tripura. Millions are displaced, and dozens have been killed in these floods. Around 6 million people are grappling with the devastation these waters have waged in both Bangladesh and India. Meanwhile, another storm is brewing on social media. If you take a closer look at Bangladeshi social media, you'll notice something unusual, one of the top trends today is, boycott India. So what is fueling this blame game? And how did it escalate into a trending boycott movement? Let's take a look. According to Bangladesh's Ministry of Disaster Management and Relief, approximately 4.5 million people are affected in eastern Bangladesh. In the worst-hit districts of Kumila, Faini, and Nawakali, people are facing power cuts, and road links have been disconnected. Many are demanding boats to evacuate those who are stranded. Following this destruction, Bangladesh's information advisor Nahidul Islam accused India of showing inhumanity for opening a dam without prior notice, allegedly causing the floods in Bangladesh. Islam is one of the student leaders who led the movement against ex-Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, which ultimately led to her ousting. During Hasina's 15-year tenure, Bangladesh maintained a very close relationship with India, its only regional ally. However, there is strong resentment against India among Bangladeshi students and the country's conservative parties, such as Jamaati Islami. After her ouster, Hasina took refuge in India, where she still resides. The country also played a significant role in Bangladesh's independence from Pakistan back in 1971, providing military and political support. However, much has changed since then, and many now view India as a supporter of Hasina's oppressive rule. Following Nahid al-Islam's speech, students at Dhaka University protested against India, chanting anti-India slogans on campus. Social media users are also reacting, blaming India for what they are calling an Indian-created flood. Some are even calling for a boycott of Indian products. The Indian External Affairs Ministry has dismissed the claim as factually incorrect. The dam in question is the Damber Dam, located over 120 kilometers upstream from Bangladesh. According to Indian authorities, the water from the dam has to travel a significant distance within India before reaching Bangladesh. They also note that the Damber Dam, standing 30 meters tall, cannot release or store enough water to cause floods on such a massive scale. India asserts that the floods in Bangladesh are primarily due to heavy rains. Bangladesh and India share 54 rivers that originate in the Himalayas and flow down to the Bay of Bengal. The scale of the network makes it easy to spread disinformation. Annual monsoon rains are common in South Asian countries and sometimes cause severe destruction. Climate change is altering weather patterns, making extreme weather events more frequent. In 2022, Pakistan suffered devastating floods that affected one-third of the country, killing 1,739 people and causing $14.8 billion in damage. Given the numerous factors affecting environmental conditions, it's uncertain whether India's release of dam water alone could trigger such extensive flooding. It's more likely that the floods in Bangladesh were caused by torrential rains. In April of this year, Bangladesh's meteorological department predicted above-normal rainfall for the country from June to September. On August 22, it specifically warned of heavy rainfall in areas like Chattagram, 